to Tom Hanley, um, who is going to give a very, I think, a very different perspective on chemical awareness training. I think you'll enjoy the presentation. I think you'll see Chemstore's um, much broader and wider approach to um, having employees and, and your, everyone on site trained properly and aware from chemical handling right out to emergency response to uh, first aid. So, uh, Tom. First aid action, how well are your OFA people trained to respond in a chemical situation? What's their reaction going to be? When did the last see the split split? When were the last trained in the irrigation of an eye? There's a, a philosophy out there in the European town Somebody gets a splash, and you're going to see a video shortly on, on an eye, an eye chemical product. Uh, go down to the eye wash unit and wash out your eye. It can't be done. You physically have to take the person, open their eye and place their head into the unit if they're standing. If not, you have to do it on the ground. And it's a technique that has to be learned. The washing down of an arm of a leg is saturated and the material of the overalls saturated in chemical. Practically. It's not a slide, it's not a theory. And we take people through that. Thanks, Steve, for the opportunity to talk to these people today. Um, my name is Martino Carnegie and I've been an inspector with the Health and Safety Authority for 13 years. So I'm sure some, if not all of you, have met my ilk going around um, harassing you about health and safety and complying with legislation. But today I'd like to talk to you about BSMART because the authority is doing something to help you and we're doing it for free. And BSMART is, is our, our offering with regard to developing safety statements. But the morning why I'm stable Carol is going to go through a bit of the practical side of the course. Now what we have here is your oil sock which will be wrapped around your contaminated area and which will hold it in within within the within the affected area like that. Um, we also have our oil pads or sheets which will go on to the affected area which will absorb the oil or the chemical which is spilled on the ground. Uh, we also have the uh, oil cushions, which will also absorb, which you can put into the affected area. Our topic for today is the storage and the handling of hazardous material. And as he said, our cabinets are used often in laboratories, but remember, a hazardous stuff, it's always the same. If you're working in a lab or in an industrial site, or even at home, yeah, it has, it's the same dangers, even in lab or industrial site. And then have a look if anything will happen here. It does. <laughs> I'm sorry, staff. Sorry for that. <laughs> but now you maybe can imagine that four liters also can be a little bit heavy. certainly be in touch with you over the next number of weeks to see if you do have a requirement for a site visit or a site audit and we certainly help where, where we can and recommend certain solutions whether it be training product or associated products. But we're delighted you came along and um, safe home and thank you.